Hi all and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Ray Dunn um, fall for you all haul. Uh, this one is kind of on the small side but wow to what I actually found when I was out about and looking. Uh, the first thing actually seems to be a little um, controversial. I found, and I know it's going to sound crazy, but I found the step stool. I don't know if you can see it. It is, it says step and up. Uh, the reason this is so controversial is because some people said they didn't feel it was made very well. Um, I really, really like this and I want to love it. My issue and why I still have the tag, well, partially because I wanted to haul it and show it in a haul. It was actually, I don't know if you can see it, I got it at Home Goods. They had a whole end cap of them for $29.99. I actually had seen the picture of this back in July before I went away to Disney with my family. The issue at hand was I hadn't seen it. I kept looking for it. Um, and finally, I want to say about a week ago, maybe actually a little less than a week ago, I found a whole end cap of these, which was awesome. I grabbed it. I took it home. Um, actually, another lady when I was there was looking um, at these step stools for her home. And then when I was bringing it to my car, another lady was coming up with her son and she actually asked me where I had found it in the store. She wanted to get one for her daughter. Um, but when I brought it home, the issue that I was having, I don't know if I can actually show you if I bring you down. Let's see if I can bring you down to the step stool. Mm, I gotta bring you down really, really low. So there, here's the step stool. When you step on it, it comes up. I don't know if you can see that. Again, I want to bring you down real low. So I step on the first step and it, it like comes up on the ground. So my biggest fear is someone's going to step on this, namely myself or a child, and we're going to fall because the step stool is not staying flat on the ground. That said, let me bring you back up. Let's see. Oh, nope. A little too low still. Sorry about that. Okay, better. Um, so that said, now I am at a loss and I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. I really wanted to love it, like I said, but that it's not seemingly working the way I want it to work and that someone could get hurt. I don't know. It's $30. That's a lot of money. So I'm really thinking about this and I actually have been trying to use it to see if, um, you know, there, there's a way around it. But anyways, that was the first item. Up next, I was in my local home goods and I didn't even, I left them in the bag. Um, I remember how I said I hadn't seen any birdhouses or any canisters yet for the fall. Well, that all changed when I walked into Home Goods and they had just put out a tank of about a dozen birdhouses. And I found, let's see it, I found Home. And it has like the burlap uh, ribbon. And this again was Home Goods. And the birdhouses are going for $19.99. So that was birdhouse number one. Then in that same trip, I also found another birdhouse. This one is blessed. And this one has the buffalo check bow. Again, nothing on the back. There's the radon tag. And again, home goods, $19.99. So the birdhouses are $19.99. So 
I was extremely happy. I found two birdhouses in one trip, and that was actually two different home goods. So I found the step stool at one home goods, which is probably about 10 minutes north of my house. And this, these two birdhouses were found the same day, a little later in the afternoon, at the home goods that is about 10 minutes south of me. So, that to the side. I let it go and I'm like, well, I found two birdhouses. That's awesome. And I'm happy about that. But then I went to Marshall's. Um, this was a Sunday afternoon and actually on the local board, someone had mentioned that at a Marshall's a little further west of me that she found one of these just sitting alone on a shelf. Nothing around it, just this one birdhouse. Yes, another birdhouse. So I'm thinking, why don't I go to my local Marshall's? Probably not going to find anything. But why not give it a chance? It's Sunday. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. And I'm walking around and I don't see anything new that I'm really looking for. However, a tank was just rolled out and all boxes, everything. And it's like literally right outside of the stock room. And I peeking and there's a box and I'm going to insert a picture at the end of this video, but the box was open at the top and there was only one box on the tank that looked like it was anything that had to do with radon because radon boxes usually come um, with a code of, I believe it's department 80 and it said AUT and then I think it was dash RS, but you'll see the photo. So anyways, I go, I peek in the box and in the box is, hang on, this looks like the bow came undone. So just give me one sec. In the box, here it is. And it says autumn. And again, Buffalo check, but this is the Tiki Hut. I actually have the Tiki Hut in Nest, which was, I guess, springtime I found that birdhouse, and that was my first birdhouse I ever found. I found one other with the cylinder, but now I found three more for autumn time, as you can see, autumn, fall, and nothing on the back, but here is the price. This one, unlike the other two, was Marshall's, and again, $19.99. So now I have three birdhouses. That's right, autumn. Blessed. And home. Um, would I like another birdhouse? Of course, I think we all that collect Radon would like. And actually, I really would just like a black birdhouse at this point. I cannot seem to find anything black. No black canisters, long letter. No black birdhouses like Haunted or Thankful. I would clearly be happy with one of those. But if I can't get one of those, I do have three brand new birdhouses. And I could not be more excited about that. I was going to end the original video with just um, the couple of things that I got from Ray Dunn with the birdhouses, but I also have shopped recently at my local Dollar Tree and my Hobby Lobby because I am in the process of decorating for fall. So I thought I'd add those couple of things here um, because I also probably will use some of them for some crafts maybe over on my blog and maybe a video even soon with that. Um, so let me dig in and show you. So first off 
here's some stuff from my local Dollar Tree and I think many um, of the Dollar Trees actually do carry um, a lot of this stuff so first of all I just grabbed some um, these are, I don't know if you can see it, but they're hay bales. Um, and they were a dollar each, so I figured for fall, these would be good um, to decorate with. I also found, um, and I had already opened this, and I've used, but I'll be using it more. I found some of the jute, I don't know if you can see. This is the jute ribbon that many people use um, for the beads, the farmhouse beads you see. So I did buy um, to do some crafting with that, hopefully. I also found, when I found the jute, I found, I don't know if you could see it, but it's Baker's Twine, and I found it like in a brown, a red, and yellow. And I also found more red and like two different colors of blue. So I'm excited about that because I figure you could definitely use that for crafting as well. Um, and I also found this, um, it's like a nautical rope. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but for a dollar, I thought I could definitely find some kind of purpose craft-wise for it. So that was what I found from the Dollar Tree. Um, put that to the side. Then I also went over to Hobby Lobby and I have a, on my um, dining room, I'm lying, my living room table, I have some vases. I have the Home Sweet Home vase set from Radon and I have right now, I had it set up more for summer and like springtime, but I also had bought, and I will show you at some point when I show my, um, trays that I've worked on. I bought some pine cones at the Dollar Tree. Yes, they had bags of pine cones. And I thought to switch out the flowers, I have some white flowers in there and I think I'm gonna keep them. But I had found these, they're really pretty and I ended up getting three of them. And by the way, everything at Hobby Lobby is 40% off on the fall line. So these, they're like, they look like little berry. Um, and if you can see the label, let me see if it'll, there you go. They normally are, I believe it's dollar forty nine, and they're from the fall line. So they were on sale. All three of these were on sale for 40 off. And I, like I said, I have three vases. So I'm going to intersperse these with the um, white flowers. I think they'll look really pretty because I also bought, and I'm not sure which I'm going to use. I'm thinking I'm going to hold on to the other ones. But these, I had already bought a package of these and I used them someplace else in my home. These are like these little um, pumpkins and like pine cones. I think I'm going to put these in that tray. And these normally go for $5.99, but again, they were on sale for 40% off. So I'm thinking this and this, so this, these in the vase, and these like in the tray part on the bottom, I'm thinking that would go really nicely and pop the white and also using the pine cones. I think that would look very fall-like. Um, and then I also ended up grabbing these. These were only $4.99. And they're also kind of like scatter and pillow, but they're they're like a cotton ball. I don't know if you can see it. I've seen other people use these. They are a full decor decoration. Again, I'm not sure where I'm gonna use these, but I like them and I thought I could definitely find a purpose for them. So for 40% off, I didn't think that was bad. Um also from the fall line, I grabbed some ribbon. I was dying to get more of the um, buffalo check. I did have some, but I had the sewing ribbons. So this is the actual craft ribbon. And this is normally, let's see it. This is normally $4.99 and it's just buffalo check. So I'm definitely excited to use that as an accent. And then I also got a thinner, 
can see it's more orange oh, it's coming up on the camera but it's like orange and maybe like a little bit of red going through for fall and this one because it's thinner is normally $2.99 but again 40% off so not bad um and then I have a craft idea in mind I have a sign from the Dollar Tree I should have taken it down um but I will definitely be doing this soon and you'll see a video here but I have a sign and it has the um jute to hang and the jute has nothing on it I want to uh repurpose take that jute off and use this jute and put some beads so I went into the crafting section I don't know if you can see, I got three bags, so I'll show you one, but they're all the same. And let's see if it comes through. So they're like the farmhouse beads, and they're normally, I believe, $1.50. Yes, $1.49. And the line of these is the Treehouse Studios. And the Treehouse Studio beads right now were 50% off. So I got three bags for 50% off. So like, I think it was like 75 cents a bag, which I thought was a steal. And I'm going to definitely, like I said, try to repurpose and show you what I'm going to do with that. And I hope to share that on this channel and even my blog. Last but not least, I was dying to get, I do have some table runners. I have like a pumpkin for my um, living room and I have a gray and white um, smaller buffalo check. But I had been looking for this, and the last time I was in Hobby Lobby, they were sold out. They must have gotten more in. But I got the um, Table Runner. Let's see. So this is their Fall Line Table Runner. And it normally goes for $14.99, but again, it's from the Fall Collection. So everything right now from their Fall Line is going for 40% off. So looking at my receipt, I ended up that whole haul from Hobby Lobby, I ended up spending under $30, $27.42 for all of that um, fall supplies from Hobby Lobby. So again, just wanted to share a little bit of what I've gotten elsewhere outside of Radon and show you what I'm looking for for fall. I also tried um, the Target dollar spot. I wasn't loving what I saw at my local Target, so I'm going to try to head to maybe one a little bit further from my house and see what I can find. And maybe I'll share that here as well. But for now, um, if you are a subscriber, I thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing and um, all of your support. If you aren't, please feel free to hit that subscribe button below. Um, moreover, please leave your comments and let me know what you liked out of this video, what maybe you have found so far in your local um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Dollar Tree, and Hobby Lobby. Um, as well as if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And again, I just thank you so much for spending some time with me. But now I wish you a magical day. Thank you.